Hi. Okay, let's see what I got here. New from the oven, just right. Okay, so maybe let's improve the focus. Okay, so this is a new brushless uh, motor, sensorless. This uh, model, the model is a JYQD something uh, 8.5e. I will put in in the description all the detail about this one. Uh, now, what is so special about this one? Okay, what is special? Uh, first, this is a new model. Uh, it is again a sensorless, so you don't need the whole effect sensor to connect. Uh, so, we, if you don't need, so it's pretty simple to connect it. You have here uh, the motor, maybe in the other side. Yes, this is the side that uh, I am using to connect. So these are the motor connector, one, two, three, and then you have the ground and then VCC. Now the voltage that it support is very high. It's from 18 to 50 volts. This is a very wide range. So this is an advantage. Other than this, you have, of course, uh, the uh, voltage out for the speed. The voltage is the second, this one is the ground, the VCC is on the top and then you have a motor output so it doesn't really uh, matter, I don't care about the motor output and then this is the uh, forward or reverse and, uh, the, and below this you have just a second, yeah, below this you have this one, now this one, okay, so this one is the forward or reverse, forward or reverse, no, this is the speed, sorry, this is the speed, so again from the beginning, so uh, the the upper or the bottom it depends what way you look so this one is the 5 volts output that you can use to your signal the other side is the ground and one up after the ground is the speed I think it is 0 to 5 volts for the maximum speed you have to connect a potentiometer and after this you have uh, the forward and reverse ok I will try to connect everything and see if this is working eventually I am looking for a wide range brushless sensorless motor that will work properly and uh, until now I didn't really find let's say the ultimate uh, sensorless brushless motor by the way, it support up, up to 15 amps, so this is a lot, because if you have 50 watts and 50 amps, so 750 watts, this is the maximum motor that you connect, and it's pretty uh, small, you can see very small device, two big capacitors, all the MOSFET are connected to heatsink, blue heatsink, this is a, a bad design in terms of connecting the wires because I don't have a lot of space till I am touching with the wires, uh, the heating, uh, the, the aluminium uh, spread, heating spread. So I need, it's, it's very difficult to put a wire and then to solder it from the very uh, small space that they left here on the side but I will try to do how to connect everything and then we will see how it is working so 
I will begin connect everything and then test it. So I was able to connect everything. So you can see it is now catching the wires below, but I think it will be okay. I think they are more or less isolated, yes. Will be okay hopefully. Now I will connect uh, I already connected a potentiometer in order to control the speed and also I put a switch for the direction the forward and the reverse and now let's connect the power hopefully nothing will explode this time I'm joking of course never explode to me yet once I had a, a blow up but not with motors okay so now I will turn on the voltage whoa okay so I can control the speed This is nice, now I will try to reverse direction. Yes, this is working. Now how I like to, to test the quality of this one. Basically, uh, the best way to see if it is okay is with a low speed, where you don't have a lot of back EMF uh, that EMF signal for the driver and, and the, all the micro, all the controller to determine the correct phase for the motor. But as you can see, it's pretty okay. Now the next thing is to stop it and then see if it can get back to the speed. Yes, it is doing something. Let's speed up again. I was 30 volts now. It looks more or less okay. Of course, the best test for, for such a thing is to put a, a load and test it with a load. But if you are putting a load to the motor, so usually the controller and the back EMF works better. So without a load, Potentially, it will be less. Uh, it will be less good, let's say. Okay, so now I will try to connect another motor and to retest it with uh, ES2 motor. I have one here, and we will see how it is going with another motor. Okay, so I've connected an ES2 motor. I have here another motor. So let's power it up and look how it's done. It's doing. Okay, pretty good. Because I can control to a very low speed. By the way, after low speed, takes time for it to get to work okay but this was very low speed so it's not okay so now let's speed it up now I will change direction As you can see, it is doing it pretty well because it first lowered the speed, and then and then it's recovered somehow. It's better to one side over the other. This was a better. No, it's more or less the same.
Okay, so as you can see, it's working pretty okay. The current and the voltage rating is pretty well. I will put a link in the description where to buy. That's all for now. Hope you enjoy it.